Boob Aaron here with AV Breaks, and I got my wife with me. Hey guys. Victoria. And um, we're back here with another video. I know it's been a long time since we've done one. We've been busy breaking, as you guys can see in the back. But today we got a pretty cool video, as Bruce is uh, showing you guys. We have a hobby box from All About the Hobby. And uh, normally I don't do repacks or any videos at all lately, to be honest. But our good friend James from Rippin' Packs AZ challenged us to a little box battle. Uh, and the winner gets a pink mosaic cello. So a cello of this product for the best thing. So his link will be down below. Check him out. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And uh, we're going to get into it. So this is a repack item. It's all about the hobby.com. You're supposed to get one signed jersey. Uh, if you guys hear that in the background, that's my daughter. She is always with us. She's here with the video as usual. We usually do breaks with her here. She's uh, not always so loud, but please excuse her. She's too much of a nuisance. <laughs> I apologize. But there's supposed to be one signed jersey, a couple of packs, some other stuff. And uh, yeah, I left the overhead cam above for you guys right here. Check it out. So that way you can see because this is a really big, big box. I'm going to try to do a re review as I go along. Um, so full disclosure, James hit me up and told me he got his box. He opened it up. Uh, he told me the stuff in his box. And then the next day I got mine, which is today, and I'm recording. So this will be up tomorrow, hopefully sometime. But uh, it wasn't the best looking box. We're going to hope this one's better. Right off the bat, the thing is huge. It weighs about close to 10 pounds, I would say. Uh, comes taped up pretty well, for the most part. And as I open it, I don't see the best of things, but you guys can see from above. We're going to get started. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought I saw... See, so this is what I was afraid of. We were going to get... I'm going to tilt it here. I was afraid we were going to get a whole bunch of early or late 90s baseball cards and baseball stuff. A little bit of filler here. This is something I kind of didn't like to see. So we'll take out these boxes up front. This looks like it's the Mega Box from Gypsy Queen 2020. Feature, yeah, it's the Mega Box retail exclusive. Okay. Um, we have this. This is kind of cool. One box of Prism. It's got one, uh, it's one mega box exclusive. Rookie autograph, prism neon green. So we're gonna hope there's a good hit in there. But this, uh, this is, I guess, what I was not looking forward to. Like a whole bunch of 93 product. But I guess times are tough, so. Like this 1992 complete set picture cards. It's okay, but there's really nothing in there, so that probably won't be open. That'll probably go into the garage, which is probably where it came from in the first place. These 90s products. More 90s products. This is actually 2019, so this might be decent. I see an Eloy Jimenez rookie card in the back. That's not too bad, actually. Put that to the side. Uh, what is this? 2019 as well and some <laughs> yeah so this <laughs> what year is that this is like um i think 92 93 let me see oh this is 87 <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're looking for in 87. I was definitely going to say, it looks like it's from the 80s, but yep. <laughs> and we have 98 Fleer Tradition Update World uh, Major League Baseball Trading Cards complete set inside. Yeah. A lot of baseball. A lot of mid-90s baseball. Traded and Rookies Major League Baseball. Contains one randomly selected autographed rookie card, but again, I don't know who we'd be, really be looking for in 99. I guess I'd have to really think about it. So we get this. I'm not really sure what this is. We're going to put that to the side. We'll come back to that. We get a 35.1 touch. We get some more Ziploc bags. This is kind of cool. I think we got something kind of cool. I'm not really sure. I thought we were supposed to get an autographed jersey, but 
I'm not really sure. I see some Jordan stuff. Maybe this makes it all worth it. What is this? Is this... This isn't a signed Jordan floorboard, is it? I don't know what this is, guys. I'm gonna open it up and check it out. Maybe I shouldn't be opening it up and touching it at all. Okay. Big zip lock here. This is... What is this? Something on the back? On the is I think this is a signed Jordan floorboard? Is it? 1995 issue of Beckett with Jordan on the cover. Does that look like the signature? This is You know what? Let's let's check the certification number. Let's see what it is. Can you get my phone, please? So, guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check the certification number. All JSA stuff comes with the certification number. So, if you don't know, you just go uh, to JSA.com and uh, plug in the certification number, and it'll give it up to you. Give you the exact details. So we're going to JSA, verify authenticity. Here we go. So then what it looks like is like this. So we're gonna plug it in. H H one five four nine nine. Verify. Oh wow. It's a Kevin Durant signed floorboard. Interesting. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? Is it like a used floorboard or? There we go. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if that makes my money back. Uh, if I didn't let you guys know, this is a hundred eighty dollar um box. I thought it came with the signed jersey, but maybe it's just one signed thing. Period. Wow, I'm kind of floored right now. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. Very much. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. You got to be really careful with this. How do I even, right. like, store this? What do I do with this? Huh. Can you give me, like, um... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to put it between two pieces of cardboard. I'm going to figure out a way to store that safely. I'm not sure if that's... I think that wins the battle. <laughs> huh. That's crazy. But in a Ziploc bag? And then this is pretty cool right here. The 95 uh, issue of Beckett Basketball. Uh, and it's got Jordan on the cover. So that's cool, man. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'll try not to be biased, but it's hard to not be biased after you get something like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the baseball cards, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the filler. I wish they would just get rid of that and put something else, maybe lower value. But I understand right now the times are tough, so... Um, I like the basketball a lot. I like the Jordan a lot. That's really cool, man. That's really cool on the KD, too, right there, bro. James, I think I won, bro. And there you go, empty box. So we're going to go over this little thing right here. I don't know what this could be. Okay. Oh, this is our hobby pack. So, yeah. And is this a graded card? That feels like a graded card, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm liking this a lot more, actually. This is kind of fun. So, again, with the baseball. 
not so bad N now <laughs> but um okay we get I was told we get one hanger pack of mosaic we get let's try to get these out of here oh that's cool okay so we get one think pack of mosaic we get one hobby pack of Donruss Optic, one hobby pack of Panini Prism. Mm. Tops opening day, a lot of people would be disappointed with this. My wife doesn't really like it, but I love this product. And it's really cheap, a hobby box is $35. I love ripping that stuff. You don't get much though. Tops 2019 series update. Uh, Donruss baseball with Tony Gwynn on the front. Uh, more baseball, Panini Donruss. NBA hoops, Chinese New Year revolution, and then this. Uh, actually, it just feels like a lot of cards in a top loader. A lot of cards in a top loader, maybe. Okay. So, guys, we're not going to open all these packs for the sake of keeping things short and quick. Maybe in the future video, if you guys like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I will go through and open these just for... Just for sheer entertainment, we're going to go ahead and open this black plastic bag and see what's in it so you guys can all be witness. I mean, I don't know, James, does it mean that you have to open all the packs to see what, what wins and what doesn't win? <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Right on the front, we got uh, Emmett Smith. This looks like it's tops, but it's always cool to get Emmett Smith. It's not signed or anything, but it's um, a hollow? Yeah, it's like a hollow. Okay, really snug in there. Try not to give anything away. Let's see if it builds up. Oh wow, it's a Mark McGuire rookie in the back, I think. This is upper deck. I'll have to check that out more. There you go, the hollow. And we have a Mark McGuire rookie. Fleer. We got a red Justin Herbert rookie. It's from Prism Draft Picks. Mark McGuire is kind of cool. 1986. It's in really good condition, too. Marcus Camby and Kyle Van Noy 101 for the Patriots. Okay. I'll take that. I mean, it is a 101, but it's a... That's a cool little... I actually like... I appreciate the spread here, to be honest. Camby was a really good player. Um, got really well known in the... I think the 99 finals. Uh, 96, 97 career. Yeah, this is a rookie card. It's not going to go worth... It's not going to be like a lot of money, but it's a good card to have. It's cool. Look at it. The Emmett Smith is cool. The Justin Herbert. Um, where did he go? I think he went to the Chargers. We'll see how he does. I might be wrong. Mark McGuire is cool, although he juiced a lot of his life. And Kyle Van Noy, 101. It is a 101. I'm not a huge Patriots fan or a Kyle Van Noy fan, but that's cool. And uh, yeah, guys, that was pretty much everything. What's up, guys? We have to cut one time. I wasn't clear of the rules. Apparently, we are opening the hobby pack, so I'm going to clear some of this out the way. We're going to open some of these hobby packs. So we're not going to open any of the old uh, vintage baseball stuff or the boxes because that'll be just way too long. We do have these hobby packs. We're going to open these up. Starting with, let's get some of this baseball out the way. Then we'll work our way up to football and we'll finally finish off with some basketball. As you know, we got the pink pack and the, and the other... Um, prism pack so hopefully one of those are pretty good we're gonna start with tops opening day I've opened a lot of this product Jordan Alvarez rookie nice Vato Paddock Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Jorge Alfro there we go basically what you expect of tops opening day now we got tops let's do some Donruss and uh, Elite because Panini is not a licensed for baseball so this product is a little bit cheaper than the other products but hopefully we get something good Corey, Joey Votto 
Jonathan Luke Roy, Zach, Kirby Puckett. Oh, it looks like we got an auto in here, maybe. Millie McAvoy, which kind of sucks. Hopefully the other ones. But it's a, oh no, it's a um, Rizzo foil from Elite. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And George Springer, Diamond Kings. So that must have been the preview to this product. Because this product is Elite. Hunter Pence, Brandon Phillips, Pete Rose, Gold Star, Buster Posey. And Ichiro. There we go, and Ichiro. This is 2015, so. It's cool. Top Series 1. This feels a little thick, but traditionally there's not very many autos in. Or it's harder to get autos in here. There's not a lot of autos in baseball products like there is in football products. Miley Wade, Turnbull Spain, Rookie, Spence. Spencer rookie, Keston Her rookie. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna put that to the side. Kelly Joe, Jake Bowers. I'm gonna have to check these later for short prints. I'll look up the numbers. I don't remember off the top of my head. There's a Rizzo, 150 years. Cool. I think that's home runs. Drew, home run derby. Acuna Jr. That's cool. Not too bad. Okay, now we have uh, this Donruss Optic Football. So let's check this out. This stuff is pretty shiny usually from what I remember. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, we got the uh, Spectral, I think. Mark Ingram, we'll save that for the back. Let's go with the Rated Rookie. Clayton Thorson for the Eagles. And our hit. Out of 79 is Josh Allen for the Jaguars. Yep, out of 79, 60 of 79. Not bad. So there's one of these per box, I believe. That's cool. Now this is where we're hoping we get the big hits. So we'll start with the Chinese New Year Revolution Basketball. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like this. This is 2019 or 2019-20, I believe. Colin Sexton. Ah, the wrong Pelican. Jackson Hayes, rookie. Jaron Jackson, junior. This is kind of the messed up foil. I remember this. Giannis. Not bad. I'll always take a Giannis. And James Harden. Okay. I don't know if that uh, messed up version is worth anything, but I, I believe in Revolution Basketball, it's the same way, so we'll go with Hoops next. And we will do the hanger pack of Mosaic, just to see what's in it, I'm curious myself. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Norman Powell. Jonathan Isaac. Larry Bird. For the Tribute. Looks like we got Quartzsite Insert, Chandler Parsons, Gary Harris, and DeMonte Sabonis. Not very much. As to be expected from Hoops. Let's try the pink pack. Hopefully no one searched through it, but I have my doubts. It is very easy to see the back of these, but you never know. You never know. I mean, we got some good stuff from the box already, so let's just hope it keeps up. Fred Van Fleet for the pink camo. Kevin Knox and our should be our rookie. Oh no, it's the Magic Johnson Hall of Fame pink camo. There we go. Good old Magic. I don't think that's really worth much. But it's always a cool card. Now we're gonna go with the, probably the most expensive pack, the 1920 Prism Hobby. I believe we're looking for well, I think everybody knows what we're looking for, but Savridis, Dwayne Bacon, we'll put one from the back, Troy Brown Jr., and our hit, Darius Garland, Prism for the Cavs. There you go. 
All right, let's bust open this hanger pack, and then I think we can call it. I believe I still won, even though the packs weren't really much of a hit. Uh, there's a chance of getting uh, orange reactive Zion out of this, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is the hanger. So that's what we're looking for. Or a jar or something nice. And I see some green action. There's our orange already. So these slide a lot. Alfred Payton, Willie Cauley Stein, Dario, J. Rule, Terrence, Draymond Green, Dwight Howard, not a prison. Derek White. Alright, here we go. It's our first green. Kevin Durant green. We just got the floorboard sign from him, so that's cool. That'll go with him. Troy Brown Jr. Orange Reactive, Alec Burke, Orange Reactive, we have a mosaic in the back, C.D. Osmond, and this should be our rookie, Jonathan Isaac, for the last Orange Reactive, Old School Stefan Marbury, oh wow, that's awesome, Got Game, Luka Don Donkic, uh, Mosaic, so that's a... Uh, I think that's a hit. I'm not sure how much that's going for right now. That's a good little hit right there. I'll take that. And our rookies in the back. Scotty Pippen Hall of Fame. Kendrick Nunn. And Wilt Chamberlain Hall of Fame. There we go, guys. That's everything. Not too bad. It was uh, pretty cool. No autos or anything, but I'll definitely take that along with everything else. It was a very fun opening. The box was very cool. Um, I didn't expect that much to be honest, so I was kind of blown away to see all the the boxes here, these and the Gypsy Queen and the hanger and the packs. Seems like it's really good value. Plus the floorboard makes it even better. So yeah, without the baseball, it's pretty awesome to be honest, and uh, I really liked it. So you might want to check it out. It's all about the hobby.com. Check out the other half of the video from Rippin Packs AZ. His link will be down below. If you like, please like and subscribe. Join us in our breaks. Uh, we have a lot coming up this weekend. The website should be down below. Uh, everything is pretty easy to do. And we're on eBay too this weekend. So check us out, guys. All right. Peace.